joined by the head coach of the North Carolina State Wolfpack, Kevin Keats. Uh, Kevin, people talk about the Virginia game and about the run in the ACC tournament. What did it do for your team to beat Duke in the quarterfinals? Because it seemed like that really energized the confidence. Well, first of all, you know how excited I am to be talking to you guys right now. Everybody's not on. If you're on and it's late in March, then you're doing something right. <laughs> um, I, you know, it's a magical run. Uh, I, I've, I've preached to these guys that in order to win any type of championship, whether it's going to be an ACC championship or going to win a national championship, you have to win every type of game. And I think we got every type of game that you could ever imagine in the ACC tournament. And, you know, give these guys credit. They stacked five games in a row. And we took that momentum and we carried it into the NCAA, and we're playing really good basketball right now. Kevin, congratulations. Defensively, since the ACC tournament and in the NCAA tournament, your defense has been absolutely terrific. Getting deflections, being disruptive, pressuring the basketball. I thought last night you were absolutely terrific taking the assist away from Tyler Kolick. What type of changes did you make, and how different are you in this run defensively than you were prior to that? You know, Seth, um, I think you know this because you've covered us for a while. We try to get 40 deflections per game, and we didn't get that at the end of the season. And and doing this run out of the eight wins that we have, you know, seven of them, we got our 40 deflections a game. You know, what, what this team was different. Uh, we didn't really understand scouting reports. We didn't do a good job in that area. The games that we lost in the ACC, it wasn't so much about what the other team did. It's what we didn't do. And so we started cleaning up things. We, we cut back and didn't give a lot of uh, transition uh, baskets. Uh, we're really starting to guard the three uh, the right way. Our defense has kind of anchored everything. And, you know, for the most part, we're playing through D.J. Burns. And teams have a different way of guarding him. Sometimes they'll let him play one-on-one, -on -one and sometimes they'll double him. But he's become our second point guard on the floor. Kevin, congrats, congratulations for everything, man. Um, Talk to me a little bit more about America's big man. That's what I've been calling him every time I watch yeah. you guys play, right? Obviously, the personality speaks for itself. Uh, but five assists in the first half, his ability to pass out of those double teams and guys having their hands ready to make plays, how about his vision that has ultimately led to you guys have being successful? Well, Jay, you would love to play with him. Mm. I mean, he is um, – like sometimes I get a little frustrated with him because he I want him to score the ball, but he's falling in love with passing the ball. He tied his career high in assists uh, yesterday with seven. But, I mean, he's a throwback. You know, he's a guy that, you know, you can throw the ball inside and score with his back to the basket. Jay's so different uh, because he's a lefty, so you don't really get a chance to play against a lefty post guy. He's got great size. He's got great footwork. He's got great touch. And by the way, you know, if you, you see a double, because we've he's seen every type of double, uh, he's a willing passer. Um, I couldn't, I couldn't, you know, he, he's an unbelievable kid. Uh, I, I think he'll be, I said this before, I think he'll be the mayor of Raleigh one day. Um, <laughs> just a great personality. You know, you want to talk about NIL, this dude, this dude does everything. He does it the right way. He's hanging with kids. He goes to Christmas, I mean, goes to Children's Hospital. Um, after the game, You might he might have 30 kids around him. And so, He's what college basketball is all about. Kevin, Danny Hurley has, uh, at UConn has changed the way I look at basketball. It's not about offensive schemes. It's not about how you play defense. It's about superstitions. <laughs> and I really don't know what yours are or if you have them. Oh, what are the superstitions that's been carrying you through this eight-game run? <laughs> oh, oh, Jay, I mean, I'm going to wear the same shoes every time. Um, yeah, now, I'm not to the point where I'm wearing the same boxers, so I'm getting to that part of it. I know, I, know, I know Seth used to do that. On, on this, I know Seth used to do that. But, but I, I tell you what, Jay, I go to the same restaurant. We do the same routine. Like, we're, you know, we're here. We just we, uh, left SMU, and we did our uh, walkthrough a little bit. Um, we do the same thing every day. We got the same film. I ate the same lunch. Uh, I'm not going to change anything. It's not going to be my fault that <laughs> something happens because I'm going to do my job. I, I look forward to seeing those patent leather black sneaks that you were riding earlier. Those are the same ones, right? Those are the lucky shoes. Yeah, and I wear them in, 
Yeah, I, I wear them in honor of the referees. They like the shiny <laughs> shoes, so maybe they think I'm one of them. He likes those Prada <laughs> sneakers. There, 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 is no, there is no chance that the referees think that. Kevin, wish you luck. Uh, best of luck against Duke in that rematch. Look forward to seeing that game tomorrow. Thanks for taking some time with us. Great. Thanks for having me on, guys.